Welcome back to Bigs and Hobbies. If you're new to my channel, a big welcome. Here you'll find RC reviews, upgrades and mods, and run videos related to RCs. So if you want to see more, make sure to like and subscribe. Today, I want to talk about the 5 best upgrades and mods for TRX4 2021 for Bronco. I've been able to put some runtime, trailing, and rock crawling, and with just few upgrades and mods, it's proving to be a great and fun truck. Number one, upgrade the servo. Normally the stock RTR servos are pretty weak and it's no exception with the included Traxxas servo. Without load, it seems to be fine, but under load, you can clearly see the strain on it. At the low end of the price, a 35 kg Amazon servers will be a significant improvement, but there are others that are far better option, but the cost rises for those. In my case, I'm using the Three Brothers G13 servo. Number two, replace the ESC. The stock ESC is decent as it has decent modulation and offers several different settings depending on the mode that you choose. But the biggest drawback is the drag brake, especially for a heavier TRX4. So upgrading the ESC will have a huge impact. My recommendation is the Hobbywing 1080 ESC for just around $42 to $45. It's a very configurable and easy to program at a great price. In my case, I went with the a bit more expensive option by going with a 2-in-1 brushless setup using the Hobbywing Fusion 1800 KB. It's not needed, but it replaces both the ESC and the stock motor, giving awesome control and tons of torque. Number three, add weight to the front. The TRX4 has fairly balanced weight distribution at 52% front and 48% rear weight distribution out of the box. The weight distribution will work fine as a trail truck, but if you want any rock crawl, then it can benefit from breast weights, especially below or at an axle on the front end. 60-40 is considered an ideal weight distribution on rock crawler and I would recommend getting the TRX4 as close to it. I prefer fixed weight over rotational weights, and thus I would recommend adding breast front portal cover, mm -hmm. steering knuckle, and diff cover prior to adding any weights to the wheel. In my case, I installed interior breast outer portal cover and Samex breast diff cover, which has changed the weight distribution to 58% front and 42% rear. During the rock crawling session at Bin Hollow, I noticed that the weight distribution is still a bit off. So I'll be adding a bit more weight to the front end to try to get to the 60-40. Also, if you do want to go cheaper route, then you can add some lead weights, even solder, around the areas of the axles or wheels. Number four, upgrade the tires and the wheels. Although the stock Canyon Trail tires are one of the better RTR tires, especially once it's been modded and broken in. And the stock plastic wheels are good looking scale wheels, but there are much better tires and wheel options that are available. Everyone has their tires of choice depending on the terrain that they run them on, but swapping out the tires and the wheels to metal does provide an opportunity to add a bit of weight down low that TRX4 can really benefit from to counterbalance the heavier body. Although I have not just swapped them out as I'm curious how the Canyon Trail tires will perform once it's fully broken in, this is one upgrade that you will see immediate benefit from. Number five, weight distribution mod. This is a free mod, but one that helps with weight distribution. TRX4 comes with two battery trays, one in the middle of the chassis and a shorty battery tray at the front end in front of the servo. Most people use the regular battery tray and run with a big and heavy LiPo battery in the middle of the chassis, but this does not do anything for weight distribution. Instead, use the shorty battery tray with using smaller LiPo batteries, which will help with the weight distribution, moving the weight forward. I personally use a 2000 milliamp hour 3S shorty battery but Jazz Ace makes 4300 milliamp battery that will fit the battery tray. In addition, 
you can remove the unnecessary battery tray which further helps with weight distribution. I hope that you found the 5 best upgrades and mods discussed today informative and useful. Please like and subscribe and make sure to hit the notification bell to be notified of future videos. Thanks for watching Vixen Hobbies.